It's a 3D printing day. Don't go away. Hey everybody, it's Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada and as promised. You see, I got my Monoprice Select Mini Pro about a month ago. When I got it, I told you I would come back and give you a, a after I've used it review. And that's what we're going to do today. Now, I did come back like the next day or the day after that with what I called the Cura Cure. And if you're thinking about getting this printer or you just got this printer, you need to watch that video because it's going to solve a lot of your problems vis-a-vis uh, -vis getting prints to come out. But uh, after that video, I, I've worked with this printer quite a bit and uh, it's time to come back and, as promised, tell you what I think about it now that I've had a chance to use it. So let's get right to it. Okay, let's start by talking about the printer itself. It is an FDM printer made by Monoprice, and you may have heard of it initially as like a $100 3D printer. And, and that's absolutely true. For the first version of this, it's, it's about $100. And uh, the second version isn't too far off of that. Now, this is the Pro, or technically the third version. It's got the heated bed, the auto leveling, the touch screen. So it is a little more, but still, in my opinion, certainly reasonable at under $250, which included two boxes of Hatchbox PLA. So price-wise, this is a great little priced unit for somebody to start. As to the printer itself, you can see it. Um, it comes assembled. There's really nothing to do to it. And you see its form factor is so small and convenient, it sits really nicely here on my desk. Okay, so I really like that. Now, some people might attack it and say that that means no build uh, volume. Well, I call pooey on that. I mean, what what are you really trying to build? Are you trying to 3D print a car or, or what? Because most of your 3D prints are going to fit in this build volume. So it's really not an issue. So... Let's talk now about what I think of it in the positive. It's great. Okay, I, I don't know any other way to say it. It is great. I am so happy with this thing, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I, I highly, highly recommend it. But that does not mean there aren't chinks in the armor, and we're going to talk about those. So make sure you watch all the way through so you understand what we're talking about. But as far as the positives, all right, I love its size. I love the ability to be able to print with different filaments. It can print PLA, it can print ABS, and, and a variety of other products. I love the auto leveling of the bed. Uh, I don't have the fights that some other people have. I love the heated bed. And once you understand what you're doing, uh, the prints stick just great to this bed. So I, I really love all of that. I love the fact that it's a, a fairly popular printer right now. So there is a lot of information out there. Look, I'm doing a video on it right now for you guys. So there's a ton of information to be had on this printer. Okay, I love that. I also love the fact that a lot of these parts and can be replaced by manufacturing them yourself in advance. Uh, you can also do a lot of upgrades to this thing. So everything about it I love, and I will tell you this. The build quality, the, the, the objects that you print, this thing can do surprisingly, surprisingly high-quality prints. Okay, this is a machine. It is not a, 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 it doesn't have a brain. And what's the old saying, garbage in, garbage out? If you put in a crappy model with crappy Cura settings, you're gonna get crap out or maybe nothing at all. This is a machine. If you tell it to do the right things, the quality that you're gonna get is amazing. 
So let me let me show you here something. Okay, here's two astronauts, okay? And uh, I'm going to zoom in on these for you right about now. Okay, the one on the right here is the first astronaut I was able to print after I applied my Cura Cure. Again, look in the, the text below for a link. Okay, so after I applied the Cura Cure, this is the first successful astronaut I was able to print. And I think it is amazing looking, okay? Really, really do. The one on the left here, later, after I got more confident, I started to tweak my Cura Cure settings and the quality jump is through the roof. That is night and day. As happy as I am with the one on the right, the one on the left makes me ecstatic. I cannot believe I got this quality out of this simple and affordable of a printer. All right, so that's my astronauts. No, there's more to tell about the astronauts, so we're going to revisit them in a minute. But the quality that this thing can handle is insane. I haven't had any breakdowns. I haven't had to use any tech support or anything like that. I have heard good things, but I haven't experienced any of that stuff, okay? So everything I'm about to tell you now as far as negatives, I want you to understand they don't even come close to outweighing the positives. This thing is amazing. But like I said, there are some chinks in the armor. When I first got this, okay, you get this and you see all these people talking about it and you think, oh, I'm going to sit down and immediately start cranking out these prints, and you're going to try and print the test file, the little cat that comes with this, and you're going to fail epically. Absolutely going to fail. I promise you you're going to fail. Because, number one, the instructions are horrible. Now, I know that this thing is made in China or someplace like that, but for the love of God, you guys are really smart people. You can't find somebody who can write a set of English instructions that really cover this properly and tell us how to use it right? I, I can't believe it, okay? Because they don't talk about the build plate almost at all. You've got to go out and search the answers on how to get stuff to stick to this sucker because nothing is going to stick to this out of the box, okay? And that's a promise. They don't talk at all about Cura, and I understand Cura is not their product. It's just something they're pointing us to. But... Wouldn't you think they would want you to be successful with your early prints? Well, tell us how to set Cure up to get those early prints to come out right. They don't. You've got to, again, go out and seek all of this information. Um, the, the menus on the touch screen, they really don't touch on that at all. There's, there's some stuff on, on, on there that I, I don't know what it is. I have no idea, still don't know what it is. I guess I must not really care because everything is working right, so I just don't care about it. Um, again, all of that is really not Monoprice's fault. It's Cura's fault or your settings fault or something like that. Um, as far as the printer itself, I don't see a lot of negatives to it. But let me kind of take you on my path as I went along and I was trying to print the cat. And I kept getting failures. And the problem was, I couldn't get anything to stick to the bed. Well, I tried um, Elmer's washable school glue, this purple stuff. It disappears. I tried that. I tried uh, Aquanet. I tried blue painter's tape. Okay. I've landed on Aquanet. And I'll tell you in a whole separate video how I do it, but Aquanet to me is the answer. And ever since I started using Aquanet and keeping this clean and changed my Cura settings, I have no issues with anything sticking. In fact, some of this stuff is darn right difficult to get up off of here. So that is that. So once I figured out how to get something to stick, I was able to print a cat. And it came out great, and I thought, okay, now I'm rolling. So I tried to print an astronaut, and I ended up with this big giant ball of string. 
Okay, total epic failure. From that point forward, I could not print anything at all. Zero, zilch. And I couldn't figure it out. And finally, I said, well, I need to find out if it's me or if it's my settings or what. So I went back and I tried to print another cat and it came out perfect. That told me everything I needed to know that the way the cat was set up was the key to successful prints. So I went back and reverse engineered the cat and found out how to set him up so I could print him and have not looked back ever since. Everything's been fantastic. So moving forward from there, I tried Benchy. And Benchy is a benchmark print that it's like a torture test for 3D printers. Look how good that came out. I took the calibers to it and checked the measurements that are supposed to be here. It's accurate. All the details are here. A little trouble up underneath the arches, but nothing to write home about. The whole thing is here, and it's amazing. So, emboldened by that, I made and printed a maker's coin. I made and printed this bolt, which unthreads and has a secret compartment in it, and uh, all sorts of other things. Then I hit a string of failures. I made some changes trying to experiment and I thought they were gone when I was done, but they weren't. So I went back to trying to print an astronaut and I don't have one of my failed astronauts here, but I was printing the astronaut and what was happening is it would get to right about here and it would lower the temperature. Then it would get to here and it would lower it more and more and more. And so by the time it got up to about the arms, it was printing at 170, which for PLA, I don't even know how it was coming out of the nozzle. It would finish the print, but you could just take the arm and go and snap the arm right off. It took, I, I call it the tail of 100 astronauts, but it took me a ton of astronauts to uh, find that problem and, and fix it. And this high quality astronaut right here, that's the result since then. The new setting, the, the higher detail setting in my Cura settings, and having fixed that problem, I'm now ready to roll and print damn near anything I want. So, anyhow, if you think there isn't a learning curve, you are wrong. If you think you are not going to have failures, you are wrong. So, expect that with this printer, because if you don't, if you go into it thinking you're going to just immediately be successful, you're going to be really, really disappointed in this thing. But remember, it's not the printer's fault, it's a machine, and the machine is awesome, okay? All the problems I'm talking about have nothing to do with the machine. The only thing I really disliked about the machine was the stinking instructions. Oh, I do have one other complaint. The SD card here, okay? The SD card that they send you is the only one that will work. What the hell? China. Okay, it's China, the home of technology and electronics, and they can only make this work with one SD card? Look, here's, here's an extra card reader, doesn't work. Here's an extra SD card, doesn't work. Here's an extra SD card, doesn't work. Okay, this is the only one that works. If this gets lost or damaged, I'm dead in water, okay, because they use the micro SD card for some strange reason, and they have something that keeps it from reading any card in the world except that one. So that's the other big chink in the armor. There's workarounds for that too, okay? But you asked what's wrong with it, I told you, okay? The instructions and the SD card. Otherwise, this thing rocks, and I highly, highly recommend it, especially for a newbie. And if you don't want to spend the 250 go ahead and get a version 2 or a version 1. I don't think there's going to be that much difference to make you sad about it. And, you know, it'll give you a chance to get your toe in the water without going broke. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to put some pictures up here as I'm signing out. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Make sure you click the little bell and it'll let you know anytime I post a new video. And ask any questions or make any comments. It really is the highlight of my day is to see the questions and comments. I love it. I love talking with you guys. Okay, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you have an amazing, crazy-ass, wonderful day.
Be good.